hi i welcome you to this channel this is parlin science and mass tv on this channel i talk about mathematics and science related problems and so if this falls within your interest i'll be very glad if you subscribe to this channel i want to say a very big thank you to my returning viewers now in this video we are to evaluate square root of a plus b all on a minus b given that square root of given that a is equal to square root of 8 and b is equal to square root of 6. so to do that what i'm going to do is i am going to go ahead and substitute so square root of a plus b all divided by a minus b is given as square root of square root of 8 plus square root of 6 all divided by square root of 8 minus square root of 6 so if we have something like this what we can do is that we are going to find the conjugate of the denominator and multiply the numerator and denominator by that conjugate so the conjugate is square root of 8 plus square root of 6 so this will give us square root of 8 plus square root of 6 this will multiply the conjugate which is square root of 8 plus square root of 6 all these divided by square root of 8 minus square root of 6 also going to multiply square root of 8 plus square root of 6 so the next thing to do is we are going to multiply so we have square root of 8 will multiply square root of 8 plus square root of 6. Then the square root of 6 will multiply square root of 8 plus square root of 6. All these divided by square root of 8 multiplied by square root of 8 plus square root of 6 minus square root of 6 square root of 8 plus square root of 6 so this will give us square root of 8 times another square root of 8 will give us 8 plus square root of 8 times another square root of 6 will give us square root of 48 plus we have another square root of 48 plus 6 all these divided by 8 plus square root of 48 then we have minus square root of 48 then we have minus 6 so we'll end up getting the overall root of 8 plus 2 root 48 plus 6 all this divided by 8 minus 6 and so we'll end up with overall root of 14 plus 2 root 48 divided by 2 so this will literally give us square root of 14 divided by 2 plus 2 root 48 divided by 2 
so we'll end up with square root of 7 plus root 48 plus root 48 and let's simplify let's simplify root 48 now root 48 is the same as is the same as root 48 is 16 root 48 is the same as 16 times 3 and so this will give us this will give us square root of 7 plus 4 root 3 right 4 root 3 but we are supposed to leave this in its simplest form that is we have to find a way of eliminating this overall square root so to eliminate that generally if you have something of this form the end result will always be in the form root a plus root b so we are just going to express this whole thing to look like root a plus root b so that we will just remove the overall square root on them so to remove the overall root we are just going to square both sides so this will give us 7 plus 4 root 3 is equal to root of a plus root of b all squared so this will give us 7 plus 4 root 3 is equal to now we are just going to expand this so this will give us root of a all squared plus root of b all squared minus 2 root a b sorry plus 2 root a b so this will give us 7 plus 4 root 3 will give us a squared plus b sorry a plus b there'll be no square a plus b plus 2 root a b so what this means is that the a plus b we are just going to compare both sides so a plus b will give us 7 because 7 is without a radical and a plus b are also without radical so you can see that a plus b is equal to 7 this is equation 1 then we can say that 4 root 3 is equal to 2 root a b so 4 root 3 is equal to 2 root a b so we just divide both sides by 2 and we'll be left with and we'll be left with 2 root 3 is equal to root a b now we are just going to square both sides so if we square both sides we are going to get 2 squared will give us 4 times 3 will give us 12 so we are going to get 12 is equal to a b so this is equation 2 so over here i'm just going to make a the subject so in equation 1 we can see that a is equal to 7 minus b so i'm just coming to make a substitution here so i get 12 is equal to 7 minus b times b and this will give me 12 is equal to 7b minus b squared so rearranging i'll get b squared minus that is b squared minus 7b plus 12 
is equal to zero and if you take a look at this we have to find two values that when we multiply we get 12 but when we add or subtract we get 7 so these values are negative 3 and negative 4 and so we'll end up with b squared minus 3b minus 4b plus 12 is equal to 0. So factorizing we'll get b into bracket b minus 3. Then we can talk of minus 4. Then we'll have b minus 3. This should be equal to 0. So we can see that b minus 4, b minus 3 is equal to 0. So we have b is equal to 4 and b is equal to 3. Alright, b is equal to 3. So we are just going to use these values to find a. So if b is equal to 4, a will give us 7 minus b which will be 7 minus 4 which is 3 so in this case we have 3 4 then we can also have if b is equal to 3 we are going to get 7 minus b which is 7 minus 3 no which is 7 minus 4 7 minus 3 so that will give us 4 so in this case we have 4 3 so what it means is that remember that when we evaluated this we got overall root of 7 plus 4 root 3 now all this we have done is to simplify overall root of overall root of 7 plus 4 root 3 and upon simplification we are getting a to be 3 b to be 4 or a to be 4 and b to be that now any of these two values will work any of these two values will work so we can say that square root of a plus b all on a minus b we got overall root of 7 plus 4 root 3 and upon simplification we are getting square root of 3 plus square root of 4 or square root of 4 plus square root of 3 this and that are the same all right so you can just go ahead with the aid of your calculator check if the value you get from this is equal to the value you get from that so with the aid of a, the calculator overall root of 7 plus 4 root 3 gives us 3.73 and square root of 3 plus square root of 4 or square root of 4 plus square root of 3 also gives 3.73 which means that what we have here is correct thank you for watching this video i know this has been a lengthy video but it all it is all to give you an understanding of what the question is about thank you for watching this video please if you haven't subscribed yet I'll be glad if you do so. See you in my next video. Bye-bye.